everyone, it's Val, and welcome back to Skyrim Zajuris Travels, episode 3.025. Went past it. Alrighty, there we go. Now, Kajit is curious as to what that noise is. It doesn't have the sound of footsteps associated with it, so it... Oh. Hmm, another one of those doors Kajit doesn't have a key to. It doesn't have any way to pick it. They must have known Khajiit was coming. <laughs> I always felt a great deal of guilt running from Nightcaller Temple and leaving my friends to die. I'll never forgive myself for that. Yes, Render. Um, should she take the risk? It looks okay. Doesn't mean it is, just means it looks okay. don't like the looks of this place. Not at all. Arender, please. You're creeping Khajiit out. Could you say that sometime when she's already sneaking and not when she's doing something that could draw attention? <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Investigate all the corners. And there goes Khajiit's lesser spell, she thinks. Khajiit likes getting a look from another direction, if she can. She's gonna check this side, then we'll go back up the road. And see where it leads us all. Okay, there's the bridge, so let's go back. this go all right fellas it's time for us to take a look in here Let's look at the map here before we go. Uh, 
All right, fellas. Kind of looks like it might open and something run down these things, but to nowhere. This is very underwhelming. Cause expected, you know, at least a room. Hmm. She doesn't see any way of opening things. Like this, perhaps this is intended to slide down. Although Kaji can't really tell if it would. It looks pretty sturdy and solid and in place to her, but... Because it's possible those grooves are for it to slide down. And open. But in that case, where's the control to do that? Hmm. Alright, well it's not in here as best Khajiit can tell. She doesn't see any levers or buttons or trip wires or anything like that. You want Khajiit to check the walls. Well, she is looking at them and there is nothing, nothing here. That's not a button. Neither is it over here a button. It's just a design. Alright, it's possible it opens from elsewhere. In which case, uh, or perhaps it opens from the other side, which means there should be another gate or something around here. So it's possible that the way to open it might be out here. So Khajiit will look carefully. Yes, the dwarven. Well, they were a secret of lot, as from what Khajiit can tell. They didn't always like to make things make sense. Like they have a gate where you have to open the door from someplace entirely far away. And, uh, well. They just like to do that sort of thing. Alright. So let's... So like this, for example. This must open from somewhere, but the way to open it's not here, and there's another one well, back near where we first came in. Yeah, we could exit from a room above that thing might open. It's hard to say. I mean, with all the dust and bits of rock and stuff that's settled over the centuries, it may look like it doesn't move to Khajiit, but it very well still might. Or it might try to. Because it could be blocked from moving. You just, you don't know. Because they did, after all, perish a very, very long time ago. Khajiit knows she's sort of making a big loop around the interesting ball in this, in the, that seems to be in the center of the cave. But... She does plan to get there. She just... She knows there's still that fella. At least it sounded like a male. Calling her a cat and threatening to make her into a rug and she would like to make sure he is dealt with before she does anything else like going into the center she means okay not seeing anything another one over here
Where'd the boys get to again? Ah. Does Khajiit lose you when she goes up places like this? And then you don't know how to get to her. There's a door here. Which Khajiit also cannot open. All right. What was that? Um. I swear I'll kill you. Okay. Oh. I'll let Never you should have come here. Huh? Um, people? There's people here? And they are not friendly people. Where are you? I always felt a great deal of guilt running from Nightcrawler Temple and leaving my friends to die. Now? I'll never forgive myself for that. Now? Now you tell the story right now? Alright, well, Khajiit might be able to jump up there, but her guys probably can't. can't hide from me. Well, actually we are. This is the for you. I'll mount your hand on my wall. I'm gonna put you down. Um okay, well you won't um, Kiji was hoping to talk to these people and convince them that we did not need to kill them. But, uh, well... You'll make a fine rug, cat. Oh, there's a Kiji. Where are you? Okay, um... Uh... Perhaps you will consider the fact that, uh, if you don't attack us, then once the Falmer are dispatched, you'll be free to go. That they don't seem to care. You can't hide from me. All right. Well, think about it. Hopefully, uh, Khajiit's friends will agree to let you think about it. We are going to go a different way. All right. Huh? Fine. Hello. Who's there? All right. It kind of sounds like they were in an avalanche themselves and had their brains rattled. I mean, Khajiit thinks they must be prisoners, but why would they have weapons and such if they were prisoners? She has to admit she doesn't quite understand what their situation is. And they don't seem too eager to explain either. If anything. Although she is hearing is hearing that nern root noise. Oh, these are little they were ancient houses, like little ones.
We're coming. Oh dear. I guess they didn't listen to Khajiit's suggestion. Irander, are you alright? You look alright. Well, that's one of them. Which means the other one might come out too. Or maybe being a Khajiit, he might have decided that the Khajiit voice he heard was saying sense. Hopefully. Khajiit does not like having to harm her own kind. Well, she doesn't really like harming anyone if she doesn't have to, but assuming that they're not asshats. To me, or to Khajiit, if they're asshats, they need to be harmed. So these houses are all kind of Oh, buried. And there's lots of mushrooms around. Oh dear, she hopes that this was a farm and not a place where people were buried. Hmm. Alright, there's some gold there. So it's kind of looking like the only... Aha! Uh -huh. The only building Khajiit can get into over here was that little house. The rest of them are little houses, but they're... Well, their entrances are buried. I always felt a great deal of guilt running from Nightcrawler Temple and leaving my friends to die. I'll never forgive myself for that. Poor Rander. All right, because she thinks she's scoured the area. It's safe to grab this. I've been enjoying this journey with you. Not for the wealth we've accumulated, but just being able to carry Mara. Mara's will to everywhere in Skyrim? Ah, Khajiit is glad you've been enjoying the adventures with Khajiit. And she thinks you were speaking generally to all of us, so I'm, I suspect the, the others will say the same to you as I just did. Alright. Where was the gold? Was it back this way? She thinks it was back that way, but she'll just check outside here. Yes. Okay. Let's have a peek in here. It looks pretty small. Yes, yeah, see how old it is? It's even got that glowy stuff inside. Has not seen use for many a year. No cobwebs, though, oddly enough. Hmm. Ah, Fulmer things. Alright, Khajiit seems to be unable to walk very quickly at the moment. Perhaps she's getting tired and didn't, didn't realize it. Oh dear. Well met.
Ooh, this is a little tough to see here. The lights, they're making her eyes blind with tears. Ooh, that's very heavy because she is not going to take that. And that is a skull. Alright, well, Khajiit's going to take a short rest while she... Oh, she has too many things in her backpack. That's why she is so slow. Okay, well. Karjo, how would you like to... Hmm. How would you like to carry some heavy things for Khajiit? You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Well, not right away. Although this place is pretty nice in terms of warmth. I will shoulder some of your burden. Certainly better than outside. Heavy things. give you all the the ores and such to carry too as long as you it doesn't get too heavy for you you be sure to tell Khajiit if she's giving you too much yes there Actually, Khajiit is still faring, carrying a fair amount of things, isn't she? Yes, yes she is. Alright, um... What else can Khajiit give you to carry? Well, you never know what you're going to need. <laughs> ah. Let's hope that he doesn't decide to use one of these. He's wearing ebony things, so he shouldn't. Long as Khajiit doesn't have anything that he thinks is better, she can give him this armor to carry. Now, as far as weapons go... Uh, Khajiit thinks she'll hang on to the weapons. But she will get rid of some of the ones that aren't worth that much. We follow then. Thank you, Karsho. That's very kind. Alright, let's put into here some of the weapons that are not worth m the, the weight to carry. Pretty much the Falmer. Not all the Falmer, but some of the Falmer stuff. There. Now Khajiit has a little bit of area. And yes, Khajiit is not a kleptomaniac. She just likes to collect things that our people are no longer using. There. I'm not sure what you mean by enchantments. My auto is better. Are you talking about enchanting them? Oh yeah, I, I could have her enchant a lot of those things and sell them for more. Um, the problem is is she just doesn't have the room to carry everything around, so sometimes I have to prune the inventory. <laughs> I try to keep the things that are worth something already and then enchant those, but... If I don't have to dump the stuff, I do take everything, but... 
Uh, you can't really give the followers weapons because they keep changing their mind about what they want to use. And uh, then I forget which ones I gave them to use. So I try to only give them things either they won't try to equip or uh, things that they'll never try to equip, like ore or something. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a pain, but at least they're there to help carry. Oh, you meant Car Karja thinks it might that it's better because it's enchanted? No, I think they go on the base value of it. Or, or like, you know, the protection value. So if I gave him a piece of Daedric armor, um, like he's got the boots, um, but Daedric's better than Ebony, so if I gave him, enchanted or not, a piece of Daedric armor, he would automatically put it on. And so if I gave him something not enchanted, he would choose it over something enchanted as long as the armor value was better. At least that's the way it always seemed to work. The... Um, for whatever reason, some of the vanilla followers that wear robes will not equip armor. And that's why I haven't been able to give anything better to Aranders because he won't wear it. <laughs> and there's various hoops that supposedly you can jump through to get him to put something on, but I just, I just haven't been bothered to do that. I, it's just a pain in the posterior every time I'd have to go through the same song and dance to get him to put it on, so it's like, no. He can have his robes. He'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Khajiit swears she hears Nurnroot. But we looked everywhere. There is Nurnroot all over the place. Alright, so the question is, is... Do we want to go down here first? She's probably hearing it around here, isn't she? Yeah, there's a glow over there, that's probably it. Uh, no, Trinity, I've tried robes, I've tried everything, and it's a known issue that he won't equip anything except his original robes. Um, I w uh, yeah, I, I have tried. I've tried robes, I've tried armor, I've tried lots of things. Now, mind you, this was three years ago, but I know that at the time that I, I enchanted up robes for him, and he wouldn't wear them. And he wouldn't wear armor either, so. It's just one of those weird vanilla things. Ah, there it is. Well, some people are using their boots. Can I pick his pockets? Uh, I believe so, but the robes aren't something there that you can see to pick. Actually, maybe I can't. No, because I don't get the option to pick his pocket. Okay, so... That would be a tower that Khajiit has not been in. It's very easy to get turned around in this place. That is a very tall tower. That might be the tower we're after. But it looks like the entrance is around the other side. Come on, fellas. 
Well, he keeps coughing. I think he gives himself a cold doing it. He is a strange duck, yes, but if he doesn't want to use the boots she gave him, there's not much she can do to force him to. Aside from, you know, stealing every pair of boots that he has while he's sleeping or something. And leaving him the one she wants him to wear. She thinks he's just stubborn enough that he might ignore them. Alright, so this looks like where we need to go. Hmm. So they must have had boats or something? To take them around, because this doesn't seem like a a place that, uh... Hey, that's a good idea. Khajiit will check down here. She sees some things to collect. She is curious. Oh. Okay. She doesn't know where the boys are, but uh, fortunately she was able to handle that without a scratch. She forgot that those were dispensers. Okay, there's no more in there. But she has to remember if she sees these, those ball things can come out. <laughs> yes, a metal monster. That's what the dwarves were good at, making those contraptions. Whoops. Hmm. Interesting. Just kind of here all by its lonesome. No, Khajiit doesn't think that was a dwarf. The dwarves were flesh and blood. Those obviously are not. If you're talking about those things on the wall, they don't make them. They seem to sit in there. And that's why she calls them dispensers, because it, they seem to... Oh, for... you just about keep Kushida heart attack. Where's the other boys? Up there. Okay. And she sees that moon root over there. Out of the corner of her eye. Let's see where the boys came from. They came from this direction. Alright, let's grab this ore here. Oh yes, two of them. She was so happy when she discovered that putting down her traps, her presents underneath these... Okay, that's not what she wants. that uh, it, if it killed them really quickly, then it didn't always wake something else up. In this case, it did. But uh, she actually discovered it on those traps, the dispensers, because they would dispense. I always felt a great deal of guilt running from Nightcrawler Temple and leaving my friends to die. Where's the body? I'll never forgive myself for that. Ah, uh, her render. Uh, the, um... 
Okay, she does not see the other one. Anyway, um, she discovered it with the dispensers because not those ones, but a different type that dispenses near the floor and she could cast cast her flame trap right on where they were going to come out and it would it would act like it just blew up in their face like it just does with these guys now where'd that body go hmm must have got turned to ash oh well tis what it is Let's go back down there. Because there were some things that she didn't get down there when she came along this direction to check this little passageway first. Hopefully the boys will catch up with her. And more Nern root she hears. She thinks. There's a glow over there, that's probably it. And then, once she's scouted this area, then it's time for that tower, whatever it is. If it's the tower we're looking for, the Tower of Mazark, that will be wonderful. Ah, good Khajiit spell. The, the contingency spell took effect. Khajiit is feeling better already. You have a problem attacking Khajiit when you can't stand in the water, can't you? Ah, and Khajiit is all better. She has no clue where the... The boys are up there. Alright, she guesses she heard her talk about the tower and they decided to go wait for her there. Okay, um... Oh, and the boys are... okay. No point in trying to hide. Don't stand in front of Khajiit. not the... that's actually not the bow she wants. Oh, dang it! Growing <gasps> and... you looked after it. Alright. Well, wasn't that exciting. Alright. She'll grab the geode. Very rude of them to attack Khajiit while she's busy. Although, she will admit she does it if she's attacking a bad guy, so... Turnabout's fair play, she supposes. And there's the Nurn root. And we've got something over here to collect. Alright, 
Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so this doesn't go anywhere, just to here. Back with those Falmer, because she didn't realize that camp was so close. She should have been more careful. Should have looked around first before going back. And she didn't. She got too excited about collecting ore. <laughs> She sees more ore over there. What is a Falmer, anyway? Khajiit is not sure. She doesn't know where they come from. They just like to live... Like to live in the underground. And they make everything out of the chitin from the chorus uh, bugs. Case. Excuse me, I would like some of my arrows back, please. Thank you. That, that one's broken. Well, that's pointless. All right, she will drop some of the heavier. Uh, no, this. That aren't worth that much. Hmm. Yes, those are heavy, and they're not really... They don't look like something Khajiit can sell for any good amount of money. Oh, they moved a dwarven chest in here. Is it a locked one? No, it isn't. Interesting. Lots of ore. Hmm. Apparently she is digging in this one in the wrong spot. Let's try over here. Ah, I hear one of the boys helping out. Awesome. Khajiit knows about the Falmer is that she remembers uh, is that they are not the same as people they they are they have some intelligence but they're, they're not the same as people because their souls will go into the soul gems just like an animal's or an insect's would. So that tells Khajiit that they're not whatever they may have been once. And Khajiit doesn't know if they were anything more than this. But perhaps in time they will become like people and not and no longer fill a soul gem. But that time is not this. So that's all Khajiit can tell you, is that she thinks they're not the same as people. 
She's never met a Falmer that could talk, that ever, they ever said anything to her, even in their own language, even if she didn't understand it. Actually, uh, when they do that automated action, no, they, they don't actually gather any ore. I don't know if you can order them to gather it for you. I haven't really bothered with telling them to do things. Because usually it's just faster for your character to do it themselves. <laughs> so it's possible if you actually order them to do it, they'll gather it. I don't know. Oh, they sound similar to a goblin? Well, perhaps they're, they are Skyrim's version of what you call a goblin. Just smart enough to start using we weapons and things, but not not smart enough to be a person the way a person is. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, that you'll get better, Trinity. You'll get into practice. Um, yeah, it it's easy to make slips. <laughs> As long as you're trying not to, you'll, you know, you'll get better at avoiding them. And uh, I know that I probably use the word I and me and my when Zizir is speaking more than I like. I catch them sometimes, but some I'm sure I am using them sometimes when I don't even notice. Uh, doing my best not to. I'm doing my best to talk like a Khajiit. Uh, that's practice, too. Oh, that's why you... You tried to delete the comment. Ah. Okay. Oh, we should know that goblin souls can go into soul gems. Okay. Um, actually, she interpreted your comment uh, as that they they look like goblins more than about the soul gem part. So you, she was thinking more of of uh, looks and behavior. An intelligence level. She wasn't... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> if Sajir ever meets one of those goblins of yours, perhaps she could see if it fills a soul gem to see if it really is just like the Falmer or not. Oh, here comes the boys. Kiji was hearing some weird breathing and she doesn't think it was the boys. But she is not... not seeing... anything. lit braziers here there might be somebody up here perhaps that's what she was here although she doesn't know why she couldn't see them they could have that's too heavy they could could be one of those contraptions because they don't show up on the spell Oh, they come by the, your grave pile for the mushrooms only sometimes, so you're thinking maybe they're gathering it for magic ingredients? Interesting. Uh, Khajiit would think if they were coming more often, it was because they're coming to eat them. Khajiit just wants to look over here a little bit. Before we go into the tower, it is looping back where we were. All right. She thinks there's some ore over there. And she would be right. Okay.
All right, fellas. So we've been. That's where we've been. So we haven't been over there. Let's look at the map. Orientate ourselves. Yeah, we've been over here. We still need to go over here. But first, this tower. Let's see if this is the Tower of Mazark that Kishit has been searching for. Once the boys catch up. She doesn't really want to go in without the boys. She has no idea what they're doing. They'll catch up. They'll catch up. Well, that's rather anticlimactic. We have a lever. And if the boys would all come over here instead of where would it. <sighs> fellas! Fellas! Khajiit needs you to come back. Thank you. Khajiit appreciates that. It looks like in order to get into this tower that goes way up... Oh my. We need to use the elevator. We'll be... Khajiit can see something up there. Uh, she needs a bow. Looks more like the glowy stuff. Hmm. Guess we're gonna find out. Alright, um, I need to end for this afternoon, I just realized. Um, I'll go f yeah, I'll leave it here, actually. This is a good point to, to end it for the episode. I will be back in two hours with more Skyrim, Zajira's Travels. <clears throat> I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream so far today. I have. And let's cross our fingers. We still have a minimum of crashes for the rest of the evening. <laughs> you guys uh, have a good afternoon. And hopefully I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah,